What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And today's Division 2 video is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, March 15th. Also, happy three year anniversary to the Division 2. This video game came out three years ago today. So thank you all so much for your support. Obviously, I am a content creator that mainly focuses on the Division universe, whether it be the Division, the Division 2, or the upcoming Division Heartland. So uh, yeah, thank you guys. We're about to hit 38,000 subscribers. Um, we've been here since day one of the Division 2, and we were even back there in Division 1 days. Um, so yeah, it's been a fun ride, and uh, cheers. Here's to the next three years. All right, so weekly vendor reset must buys. Let's go. Today is March 15th. Like always, I like to start off in Washington, D.C., and then make my way to New York City. So don't forget, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. So here we go, Base of Ops, our first vendor. Starting off with the Cold Relations. This is the named PP-19 with health damage and perfect strained. Followed by a converted SMG-9 with mag size and ignited. A military G-36 with damage to armor and close and personal. And then finally a card 45 with crit damage and vindictive. Looking at the gear items, we have a Araldi Holdings backpack with safeguard, headshot damage, and crit damage. And then a Fenris chest piece with kinetic momentum, skill haste, and hazard protection. Looking at the mods, we have a crit chance 4.6, drone deflect duration 6.4, turret damage 4.2, and Sticky Bomb Skill Haste 4.1. Now, must buys things to look at from the very first vendor at the base of ops. I'd actually say if you can optimize, all right? So keep that in mind. If you can optimize this backpack, I would switch off the talent for Vigilance or, you know, whatever it is you're using, Companion, uh, Adrenaline Rush, uh, I mean, there, the list goes on, but you could switch off this talent, make it a really good backpack to use for either sniper builds or max damage to armor builds, which I've used in the past, where you could use the Araldi, you could use the Walker Harris and the Contractor's Gloves and get max damage to armor and just destroy everything in sight. Uh, the only caveat to that is you would have to... Uh, optimize the core attribute because that weapon damage at 10.4 is very low in my opinion um, but this does have potential and then actually looking at this Fenris chess piece so I've been talking non-stop about skill builds and the capacitor and how you could do like some hybrids and all of that um, this is another one where that could fall into that category, where if you re-rolled the hazard protection off for skill damage, you could have skill damage, skill haste with the kinetic momentum, use the capacitor, and then just switch to the technician specialization that gives you that extra skill tier. That way you get the skill tier for your skills, and then you also get this weapon damage for the capacitor as well. Again, you would have to optimize it, um, but that's a way you could do it. All right. So there's your first vendor. Let's make our way to the clan vendor. Now remember, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. We are on all platforms. Let's see. Currently on Xbox, we have four slots open. I have just opened up four slots for uh, clan members on Xbox. So hit me up if you want in on the Xbox clan. And then same with PlayStation and PC. I believe PlayStation is already full, but PC definitely hit me up on Discord. I'm going to be jumping into that um, pretty soon. I've already finished my season levels for Xbox and PlayStation, so next stop is the PC. But all right, let's uh, talk about this clan vendor here. 
All right, so for the clan vendor, our first item is the Quiet Roar. This is the named LAMG with Perfect Overwhelm. Also comes with health damage. What's with health damage today? All right, then we have our gear set items. We have a Rigor Holster with status effects, a hardwired chest piece with status effects, and Foundry Gloves with weapon handling. Uh, looking at the high-end items... KSG shotgun with pumped up and crit chance, followed by a PX4 storm type T with max pistol damage, reload speed, and preservation. And infantry MG5 with damage to armor and killer. Okay, so you have all the attributes you want on an LMG right here. You have the LMG damage, damage to targets at a cover, and damage to armor. But killer, eh, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. Petrov Gloves with Crit Damage and Explosive Resistance. Let's see here. Officers M9A1 with Mag Size and Lucky Shot. Bellstone Armory Holster with Armor Regen Health. And then a Petrov Chest Piece with Weapon Handling Armor Regen Unbreakable. That's a good one. I'm picking that one up. Um, so pick up this chest piece right here. You can use this for a good Pestilence Armor Regen build. And reason I am saying that is use the weapon handling to your advantage. Use that with the pestilence. It's the best way to do it. Uh, that armor region can work with, you know, some other armor region pieces. So what I would do is I would make like an armor region weapon handling type build for your pestilence and you'll be good to go. Um, what I'm going to do personally is I'm going to reroll that weapon damage off for armor. And then I'm going to put probably a damage or a armor on kill mod on there and then just use this with uh contractors and then you could do um what you could do two golan bellstone and emperor's guard or you could do bellstone emperor's guard with uh memento or maybe even memento and a gila a uh, gila my bad i don't know uh options are limitless all right let's move on uh, looking at the mods, Shock Resistance, 8.6. Shield Deflector Damage, 4.5. Chem Launcher, plus one ammo. And then a Drone Scan Range of 8.5. Now, must buys things to look at from the Clan Vendor. Hmm. If you don't have max pistol damage, pick up the Storm Type T. Put that in your recal library. And then uh, the Petrov Chest Piece. All right, moving on. So we uh, go to the west, and then we will make our way back east. Our first stop is going to be the Campus Settlement. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know uh, what must-buys you're going to be picking up this week. It's always fun to see uh, you know, different build ideas from other people. All right, here we go. Cassie Mendoza's Doppelganger. All right, here we go. Starting off with the Punch Trunk. This is a good pickup with Armor Region. hey -o. you could make an Armor Region headshot damage build. Damn, man, I'm picking that one up too. I love me some Armor Region, guys. Just saying. Um, so here's your Punch Trunk. It is the named Douglas and Harding mask with headshot damage. Now this one comes with Armor Region, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reroll that weapon damage off for Armor. And then I'm going to optimize that armor region. I'm going to put some headshot damage mods all over this bad boy. And I'm going to be running around tanky with uh, some armor region and a whole crap ton of headshot damage. Uh, looking at the other items, we have a SOCOM Mark 20 with optimal range and killer. Followed by a military M60 with stability and ignited. Last two gear items, we have a Seska mask with status effects and health, and then a Araldi Holdings holster, headshot damage, crit damage. Uh, put this one together with the backpack that we saw at the base of Ops um, because that's two pieces of Araldi right there, and you only need three to get that damage to armor. Um, so you could pick this one up in conjunction with that backpack, and you could even use it with the punch drunk with the headshot damage. I mean, there, there's a lot of different options here today. Uh, looking at the mods, repair skills, 16.4. Chem launcher and snare duration, 
Hive stem efficiency, 8.4. Pulse effect duration, 8.9. And trap duration, 4.1. Now, must buys things to look at from the campus. Punch Drunk and the Araldi holster. All right. Now we're going to hit up the Dark Zone, starting with a Dark Zone Ho West. Hope everyone's still doing good out there. Um, today is the third year anniversary of the Division 2. I wonder, uh, probably not going to hear anything, but I wonder. I wonder. We'll see. It's been a long three years. In the last uh, year and a half of it's been uh, pretty, pretty dark. All right, so Dark Zone. We are in Dark Zone West, and we're about to look at our Dark Zone vendors. But first, you need to figure out your DZ resources because this is the only way to buy items from the Dark Zone vendors is you need DZ resources. Now, you can see right here I actually have more than I'm allowed to. I have 307 out of 300 for the Dark Zone resources. And to check how many you have, just go over to your resource tab, and it's right above the keys and then you can see how many DZ resources you have. All right, so with that being said, let's look at our Dark Zone West vendor. Starting with the Harmony, this is the named rifle with Perfectly in Sync, comes with Rate of Fire. Then we have a M870 with Crit Chance and Strained. Why, 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 why would you want a shotgun with Strained and Crit Chance? Oh my God, this kind of stuff grind. You know what grinds my gears? <laughs> Yo, shout out to Family Guy, giggity goo. Uh, Sig seven or uh, seven <laughs> sixteen uh, with health damage and steady handed. Then to our gear items, we have uh, Striker gloves with repair skills, Eclipse knee pads with crit damage. Ooh, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Because 10.2, I mean, that's like four optimizations from max, maybe five. Optimizations are not cheap. Nah, I'm going to skip it. That's a good pickup, though, just in case you're wondering. You could make a, uh, like a damage or tanky eclipse build with status effects. It does actually work really well. Um, just letting you know, Eclipse Protocol is really strong whichever way you roll the core attribute. You could do skill damage, tank, or DPS, and Eclipse Protocol is really strong. All right, last two gear items. We have a Grupo pair of gloves with weapon handling hazard, and then Badger knee pads with hazard and armor regen. Uh, nice, not too shabby. All right, looking at the mods, we have Disorient Resistance, 8.6. Seeker Mind Damage, 4.1. Shield Damage Bonus, 4%. Firefly Skill Haste, 6.0. And Decoy Health of 6.0 as well. Um, Yeah, so let's look here. So DZ West, I would say check out the Eclipse Knee Pads with Crit Damage. Not too bad. And then the Badger Tough knee pads as well aren't that bad either. You could do like a tanky shotgun build with armor region and hazard. That'll help you with uh, out tanking skills and bullets at the same time. Just saying. Just saying. All right. Next stop, DZ South. Making our way down south to the DZ. Trying to buy some good stuff. And then I'm homebound. -do 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 -do. Not bad, huh? All right, here we go. DZ South. I reckon, I, I reckon we're going to get some good gear. Yo, the rail splitter in the motherfucking house. Let's go. Yo, come on. Come on. I did all of that funny voice crap and then it throws the rail splitter in here i'm gonna start doing that funny voice crap all the time look at that so we have the rail splitter always a must buy in my book i don't give a sh what these attributes are all right let's look at them uh the uh, ar damage is actually pretty high at 14.2 so i'll keep that um the health damage is low uh, that is really low but uh, i don't 
really care about health damage. Let's be real. I, I don't really care. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said that on here, on this video, I said that. I don't really care about health damage. Um, unless I'm, like, I, I don't even know. Like, unless I'm doing some crazy PvE thing, I, I don't really care. Uh, players, their health damage, or their health is just non-existent. So as soon as you get past that armor, it, it's game over anyways, baby. I mean, two, three bullets, they're dead instantly. Um, so the rail splitter must buy in my book. You could even switch off the accuracy for whatever attribute you want. You have good AR damage, and it comes with that perfectly accurate. So I don't really think you need accuracy on there on top, but you could make it like a ultimate beam build. Um, but with the RPMs at 900, it's not easy beaming with the rail splitter at like crazy long range you know it's not like a ak or fal um the optimal range is not going to be as staggering um but it's still a really good pickup i like it so right here the rail splitter dz south pick it up while you can it is a 152 dz resources next we have a m1928 with optimal range and strained Followed by a Carbine 7 with crit chance and overflowing. And then a X45 Tactical with perpetuation and optimal range. Looking at the gear items, hardwired backpack explosive resistance, hardwired chest piece with hazard, Murakami backpack with companion explosive resistance and headshot damage. And then finally, Walker Harris with Head Hunter crit damage and explosive resistance. Now, looking at the mods, crit chance 4.4, drone duration 6.3, uh, <laughs> turret 4.1 burn damage, and sticky bomb duration 6.3. Um, I'm still stuck on the, uh, I don't know. Anyways, Rail Splitter, DZ South, pick it up while you can. And our last stop for the Dark Zones is Dark Zone East. I'm going to go to the Alpha checkpoint so I don't mosey my way all the way through, you know, the main entrance. I can just go right outside the checkpoint door, and there's the vendor right there. Oh, and then you get smacked with a double loading screen, so it puts you in a active server, even though we're doing vendor Resets. All right, here we go. DZ East. Come on with it. Give me that big money. East side. East side. What? Ah, the darkness. All right. Named Marksman Rifle with perfect eyeless and reload speed. Then we have a G28 with stability and steady handed. And a Black Market M60 with health damage and ranger. Looking at the gear items, Eclipse Mask with skill damage, not bad. Tip of the Spear Holster with really high weapon damage and crit damage. Okay, if you like your Tip of the Spear, there you go. Douglas and Harding Mask with headshot damage and skill haste. And then Badger Tough Holster with health and skill damage. Looking at the mods, Skill Haste 10.0. Chem Launcher and Snare Health 13.4. Hive Range 4.0, Pulse Health 14.5, and finally Trap Duration 5.9. Now, must buys things to look at from DZ East. Um, not really. Not really. All right. And our last stop for Washington, DC is the Theater Settlement. Here we go. Come on. We've had a couple okay items today, but uh, I don't know. Come on, help us out here. Starting with the Surge. This is the named rifle with perfect spike. It comes with swap speed. Then we have a Spaz 12 with max size and close and personal. Followed by a ACR with health damage and bread basket. For the two gear items, we have Seska Gloves with Weapon Handling and Crit Chance. And Wyvern Knee Pads with Weapon Handling and Hazard Protection. Looking at the mods, 
Bleed Resistance, 8.4. Seeker Mine Damage, 4.2. Shield Deflector Damage, 4.2, or 4.1, sorry. Firefly Speed, 7.9. And Decoy Health, 6.0. Now, must buy things to look at from the theater. Mm. I mean, the Suska gloves aren't horrible. If you want to do high crit chance with some weapon handling, maybe you're not too worried about crit damage. I don't know. Uh, probably not. These are all like some gray area items. Like they could be okay in a certain build in a certain way. If you optimized it and did this and did that and jumped through hoops. We haven't had any like crazy, oh, you must buy this right now. Okay, two last vendors in New York City. We have Marco up here above the escalator, and then we have Roy Benitez outside. Marco. G36C with max AR damage on empty and reload speed. Uh, no, 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 no. Model 700 with breadbasket and accuracy. Tactical Super 90 with headshot damage and steady handed. And a 93R Romeo for damage target or damage to armor and reformation. Now looking at the gear items, we have Bellstone chest piece with unbreakable headshot damage status effects. Oh, you could hmm. You could actually pair this one up with that punch drunk from the campus, re-roll the status effects off for armor region, and then keep going down that road with headshot damage in armor region. That could be a contender. All right, looking at the next one, Douglas and Harding gloves with status effects and health. Badger tough mask with skill damage and status effects. Ooh. And then the mods, we have Skill Haste, 10.1. Crit Damage, 9.9. 9. Seeker Mine Healing, 5.7. Chem Launcher and Snare Health, 13.4. And Sticky Bomb Blast Radius, 4.8. Eh, must buy is anything to look at from Marco. Eh, you could check out the Bellstar Armory um, chess piece. Just know that you would have to optimize the core attribute. And look, guys, I'm about to hit 3,000 on my Xbox shade level. Let's go 3,000. <sighs> I'm so close. Um, it's all that PlayStation and PC playing I've been doing lately. Now, Roy, Benina, uh, Roy Benitez, that silver-haired fox over there, he's uh, he's got to wait because you need to come over here and pet the dog. Don't forget to pet the dog. Come on. Come on. Show a little bit of humanity. Pet the dog look at him and someone get this dog some water he needs some water stat this dude has the same food it looks like it's like so old it's combined into one like frisbee disc and he has no water get this dog some water all right roy benitez the last vendor of the video here we go pdr with sadist and stability uh no. Uh, military RPK with health damage and killer. Custom M870 with accuracy and reformation. And a police magnum with in sync and swap speed. Interesting. Hmm. Has anyone ever used the police magnum in a build video? I I'm, I don't think I'd ever do it, but I'm just, I'm wondering, like, has anyone ever used the police magnum? Anyways, moving on. Uh, gear items. China Light chest piece with explosive delivery, health, and skill haste. Murakami gloves with explosive resistance and hazard. And then Sokolov mask with headshot damage and crit damage. Uh, it's not bad. That's not a bad mask. You could easily... Uh, re-roll the weapon damage off for armor or max weapon damage, or you could re-roll that crit damage off for max crit damage, crit chance, what have you. This could work. And looking at the mods, crit chance, 4.4. Burn resistance, 8.5. 
drone, two extra bombs, firefly plus one max target, and trap duration 4.3. Roy Benitez, things to look at, must buys, the works. Um, I mean, if you don't have, if, and that's a big if, if you don't have a Sokolov concern mask, you could look at that one. That's a big if, though. And Sokolov masks are not the most sought after. Just saying. Anyways, um, my kids are on spring break. What about your kids, man? Shout out to the parents out there. Jesus Christ. Ugh. The humanity. Anyways, that's your weekly vendor reset and must buys, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Stay healthy. And I will see you guys. Peace. Slow walk.